Every nation has a varied selection of top-tier aircraft. The variations of top-tier aircraft in War Thunder can range from powerful dogfighters like the Viggen, F-5E, and MiG-23 MLD to unagile missile buses like the Phantom. The nature of War Thunder generates a meta around certain aircraft that perform better than others. So, today, we're taking a look at what would be considered the least performing aircraft for each nation. We're going to be basing it on their performance, battle rating, and economical parameters like repair cost, SL gain, and RP gain. As such, we'll also weigh out premiums, event vehicles, along with tech tree vehicles between realistic battles battle rating of 10.3 and 11.3, which I consider the top tier matchmaker. Here's a disclaimer. When I say worst, it doesn't mean it's a bad plane. Some of the aircraft on here are good, it's just that its tech tree holds even better aircraft. Do note that this is entirely within my opinion founded on properties they have in game, and we can disagree. And if you think any of the aircraft here is actually better than some of the other aircraft in its tech tree for reasons you came up with on your own, that would be completely fine. And more power to you. The United States has a really rough start with tier 7 aircraft. If I included 10.0 in the criteria, we'd just be sitting around here arguing whether the F-104A, F-4C, and A-10A late are the worst top tiers for the United States. But since we're starting from 10.3, there is only one answer. It's the F-5A. Available as a reward during export order is an aircraft counterpart to the PT-16 T-14 mod between the F-5A and an auto-loaded Leopard 2K. The choice was basically a no-brainer. The F-5A was, in essence, a direct copy of the F-5C Premium, but without the Premium bonuses. Technically speaking, it was a free F-5C for those who didn't want to fly the F-5E at 11.0 for a crazy expensive repair cost. This would also made me consider the F-5A as a worst top tier vehicle. The stock repair cost for the F-5A is 9,900 Silver Lions. It does everything that the F-5C does, but with a higher repair cost, and none of the premium bonuses. So I know you're asking, why not the A7D or A7E? Those are subsonic and only have two missiles max. Aside from the repair cost, the A7D has a stellar ground attack loadout. In War Thunder, the A7D is the lowest battle rating aircraft to carry AGM-65 Mavericks, tied with the AJ-37. However, the AJ-37 can only carry two RB-75s, the A7D can carry four. Germany has very few top tier aircraft, but all of them are competitive to a certain degree. Except for one. That would be the F4F early. The F4F early beats the F104G for the worst spot, as while both carry the same gun and top missiles, the F4F early lacks countermeasures. When the F4F early was added, all the new players flying them tanked Germany win rates severely. This is compared to the MiG-23 MF that was a decent dogfighter that could be equipped with countermeasures. And the funniest part about the F4F early is that it's got a higher stock repair cost than the F4F in the tech tree. The USSR is a bit trickier, however. From 10.3 to 11.3, the Soviets have a very strong lineup. The MiG-21 SMT is a powerhouse at 10.3. The MiG-21 BIS is more than adequate for 11.0 despite the all-aspect missiles going against it. The MiG-23 Sun-27s have either 6 mediocre all-aspect missiles or 2 very good ones. Even the SU-17M2, which has no countermeasures at 11.0, is a good ground attack platform. However, if you twist my arm, I'd probably say it's the SU-17M2. As a ground attack platform, it's outclassed by the MiG-27s in both air-to-air -air and ground attack capability. They have better avionics and countermeasures at the same battle rate. And because the SU-17M2 is very, very fat, the swing wings do very little to help the airframe in dogfight. For the British, there are only three aircraft that fit the criteria, and two of them are basically the same. So, by default, the Hunter F6 takes the worst spot. A 10.3 with no RWR and countermeasures on a subsonic plane that needs to get up close to score hits with the missiles 
is a no-brainer compared to the FGR2 and FG1 with their sky flashes and pulse Doppler radars. Japan's sparse top tier lineup leaves us with very few to consider. There are two aircraft that I argue would make the cut as the worst. It's a choice between the F-104J and the F-1. The F-104J is a 10.7 with no flares and chaff, 4 a 90s and a 20mm JM61A1 gun. The F-1 is the same but it incorporates a JAWG-12 pulse Doppler radar at a BR lower. It sacrifices the acceleration and top speed of the F-104J, the pulse Doppler radar allowing the A-90 to slave it at low altitude more than makes up for its shortcomings. China falls to the same issue as Japan, having a Starfighter 10.7 with no flares and chaff with AIM-9Js as armament. Before the PL-5B was buffed to 30Js, I would have said the J-7E was the worst. It lacked a proper radar and a decent gun, but the PL-5B buff made it significantly powerful at its battle rating. This left the F-104J 10.7 as the most suitable candidate for the worst top tier of China. It used to enjoy a competitive spot when it was first introduced two years ago, being one of the few starfighters with AIM-9Js on release. Italy, they only have starfighters between 10.3 and 11.3. The F-104G with two AIM-9Js, the F-104S with six AIM-9Js or a 4x2 Sidewinder Sparrow E combination, and the F-104S ASA with a 4 AIM-9L or 2x2 Aspide AIM-9L combination at the expense of its gun. This one is pretty easy since I would consider the worst being the F-104G. This is one of the aircraft I said could be good aircraft but is considered worse because everything else is just better. The F-104G at 10.3 is more than enough to do what it needs to do with only two missiles. but. Everything else compared to it is just better. F-104S has 6 9Js and Sparrow capability. 104S has one of the best IR missiles in game. So, by default, the F-104G takes the cake. Or does not take the cake. I don't know. Throughout this video, I've always judged aircraft on their capabilities or economical features as opposed to their battle rating. And it never really was supposed to be an issue because my criteria is a fixed battle rating of 10.3 to 11.3. But France is perhaps an exception to the rule because the Mirage F1C is probably the worst of French top tier, simply because it's 11.3. If the Mirage F1C was 11.0 then it would be fine, but the Mirage F1C at 11.3 ensures that it will face F4Js, FGR2s, and MLGs. Currently, there are no 11.3 aircraft with only two IR missiles, except for the Mirage F-1C. The Super 530F has a lower lock range than the AIM-7Es, and the moving target indicator is heavily susceptible to chaff. The Mirage 5F, Mirage 3C, and Mirage 3 are all 10.3 with the same amount of IR missiles as the Mirage F-1C. Sure, the Magic 2 are nice, but they did not implement this IR counter countermeasures, so it's really just a magic one that goes for flares even harder at 35 Gs. Sweden is a bit of a rare case. I believe the AJ-37 is not the worst, but rather the J-35D. At 10.3 it has countermeasures and RB-24Js and a decent ground attack capability. The J-35D has no RWR and flares, but in exchange it gets 4 RB-24Js. While in a gunfight, the AJ-37 is hopeless without its gun pods, when the RB-24J is researched, it can carry both missiles and gun pods at the same time, so this is not an issue. However, the J-35D also carries a higher repair cost than the AJ-37. Don't get me wrong, the J-35D is a good plane and it's in no way over tiered. I love the Draken to death. but. The AJ-37 just offers more in the way of protection and is more noob-proof than the Draken. If the Mirage 3CJ retained the battle rating of the Mirage 3C, then it would be the worst. But it's 10.0, so by default, the worst top-tier aircraft for Israel goes to the Nishur, sacrificing two missiles 
and the Magics at the same 10.3 battle rating, the Nishar lags behind compared to the Kafir C7 and the Phantom 2. So that's it for the worst aircraft per nation. Of course, there will be disagreement. Hell, even I disagree with Sweden and France as I love both the Draken and the Mirage F1C to death. However, it really is just the conclusion I arrived to when comparing each aircraft with their properties in War Thunder. Sorry the video came out late, I got caught up in some real life stuff. Thanks for watching and as always, Godspeed.